I'm Swarsha from Stanley Monodara from Pawan University. I am currently pursuing media in computer science in fourth year. So what is it about? Like holding the box like a lid. So does anyone have uh, experience to work on uh, printers from uh, vulnerable box to get the loot and all the students for OSCB? So it is saying. Uh, there would be a uh, there will be a vulnerable system given to you over file and you can uh, run on VMware also. So you need to find the root access or be the administrator. You it can be a website also, it can be a WordPress uh, 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 website, you can have any multiple services like XTP, Apache, you can also have NG uh, Ninjax. So what is continuation testing? Like some of the basic steps we need to follow for starting. So it's a process of finding vulnerable vulnerabilities in a specific uh, target and a proper set of method. There, there is a method of working. So like there can be vulnerabilities in network, web application, mobile application, social engineering, physical. So these are the basics uh, need to uh, like some who have not performed any penetration testing till now. So the steps to follow. To work uh, for a penetrator in a vulnerable box, we need some steps to follow. We are discovering target's uh, IP address. First of all, uh, we can download the WAR file, it is installed, and after running it, how to find the IP address. Second, to scan the network and what are the services, what are the open ports, and all. Third is the enumeration process. Like, to uh, where we can find a path, we can get into it. So we need to find the services, we need to find its exploits and all. It comes, uh, covers the fourth point search for exploit. Find it through website, if it is a website. Like we can try SQL injection, SQLI, uh, XSS, Linux privileges, like uh, we have penetrated into it. We are not the admin, we are not the root, we are just a normal user. So to increase the uh, privilege escalation, we need to do the Linux uh, privilege escalation. And Finally, to be a root or find the flag so that we can uh, succeed in that. So let me uh, show you the demo of it fully. So here I have a DC2, like it's a vulnerable box. Uh, see, after installing it, it will be looking like it, like this. Is it visible? So I've been running uh, my Kali through a uh, virtual box and uh, I have breached both uh, the networks of DC2 and the Kali so that I can uh, get the IP address as it is bridged. So let us find the IP address of DC2 font. Magnifier is equal.
আমরা সো বাই নেট ডেস্কা উই ক্যান ফাইন্ড দ্য অল দ্য হোস্ট কানেক্টেড উইথ দ্য ইন দ্য নেটওয়ার্ক সো লাইক ইট উড বি স্ক্যানিং অল দ্য আইপি অ্যাড্রেস অ্যান্ড সাব ডোমেন্স so we got an uh, ip address of the vulnerable box it is mostly like pcs system gig as a uh, i said the um, mac address by right? the mac address of that system and let me show you so in the network settings see here is in the advance this the mac address uh, it is like 08002782 so let us search for that same mac address in the uh, ip address we have scanned see this one 08002782 so by this we can just cross check that the ip address the which we are given is that the same of that vulnerable box so we got the ip address of that system so let us now scan that first so the ip address is 198 so by nmap uh, basic we can scan the ip address i have given a number of ports like till 6 65000 so it will be scanning all the ports and the possibilities and the uh, tcp open ports also
Okay, so finally the scan is complete. Okay, so let us uh, scan, uh, let us try to do the website part. If it's an IP address, then check it. Okay, so it's 43, sorry. So it's finally open. It's a website. <laughs> it is a WordPress website. As you can see, it's a basic theme which they provide in a demo. So here we have got four, five, five pages. And let's check the content. If it, we find some comment section or some login or like that. So here it's all the temporary text they have pasted it's same here also but there's a page name flag so like it's an hint for us um, it's written is it visible or magnified So it is written your usual word list probably work on instead maybe you need to be QL. So QL is type of a tool for generating a specific word list if it is in the website. So some specific types of passwords, uh, their combinations, it's been stored in the websites only. So I have uh, so let us check for the quill command command in the okay so uh, sorry it's a WordPress website right so let us scan uh, WPS scan because we can get something there like what are the plugins and all.
हाँ या बेटा so it say and uh, let us check if the usernames as we know that in wordpress there should be a login panel to get uh, to make a website Okay, so the the IP address is redirecting it to some website. So it's DC two. We need to specify. Here we can get all the plugins the which are vulnerable. It will be showing us the levels also. and and the uh, we can enumerate the username we can also do xml rpc attack on it which can help us to get the passwords Let us search for that quill command. So it's a tool which spiders a given URL to a specified uh, specific depth means the depth we have we need to uh, mention it. started So yeah, it is a Ruby app, like earlier said. Also, also a command line. We can it. Uh, we can see the. It's a help. We can download the files. Uh, means in a uh, all the all the words which are matching, which are in uh, inserted in the website, we can download and keep in a file. So there is the command for it. Okay, so it's done. The WordPress scan has started.
so yeah some findings which uh, the wordpress can have uh, has done they are like the dc2 as a php file xml rpc is a confidence level which can means it can directly detect it and we can attack to it here are there some vulnerable plugins 10 vulnerable uh, vulnerabilities identified so here we have two path like we have also achieved the usernames here three admin jerry and tom so here we have two path like we can go by the vulnerabilities to exploit it and or we can attack the only the admin panel so we can just get through into the admin panel and open some pages or we can find some flag or the, get the root access So let us specify a website. Huh? Yeah. So the command which I got from the uh, Kali, it's like QL the depth is mentioned and the word list. Now we will be storing in words, uh, docs word dot txt from the website dc2 so let us generate a file of the users So it may help us for the XML RPC attack uh, at the website. It is there. Let us check the connect. Uh, Okay, so the file of that password words uh, is being created. So we can have the XML RPC attack on the website. to first copy Okay, so it is in the root only.
Fraser, um, yeah. And the file path. And for the uh, Usernames we got uh, three user are txt. So let us hit enter and wait for some more time. XML RPC attack. It will not directly uh, do the attack, but it will first uh, scan the website and then it would be attacking uh, the login pa uh, login panel with the username three we have uh, provided and the word list we have generated by the QL. Sorry, just checking. Okay. So we, as you can see here, uh, this they're trying each and every different username with all the passwords. Like any one of you have worked with this vulnerable hubs earlier. Uh, which? Okay, the WordPress ones. By going with the plugins and all, it would take our time, much more time. Like we have to search for different exploits. Some are, some of the plugins are authenticated here, and uh, like see. The authenticator, arbitrary file deletion, authenticated file deletion, file uh, post type bypass. Then it comes like PHP. It would uh, the, it would get the website down. It would not give us something like connection back or reverse TCP. Same uh, goes through with the, all the plugins. User activation uh, screen search engine. We don't we don't need a screen search engine. Okay, so I tried for the and map scan for SSH connection at the website and here it is. So we can get a reverse shell through which we can not get the root access, but we can get the files and try to Linux privileges from there only. So we just need to have some time to get the passwords.
sometimes we are not given the usernames also we don't find by enumerating it so like with the one pops up like admin the only one if he has divided some roles like editor then the developer as someone has worked with wordpress they may knowing the roles of the development of wordpress so if you if you get the ip uh, if you get the access of user also and if you think that it's there a comment section i can inject a code or php code but it does not get approved by as it is only approved by the administrator so it doesn't make any effect that you are, you are injecting a code it will just go and paste uh, in the page do not get in the function so like we need no do you need to wait for the password to pop up or can i show the screenshot i have select is it fine to wait okay like you would have got that user yeah i have this okay proceed and after okay yes yep so yeah so wait um yeah here it is you see so like we would be getting the username for jerry and tom so like um, we can get the ssh connection for it let us try for the jerry first okay wait this is uh, the port number where is the password for jerry was adi eisng okay so the permission is being denied so let us try for tom Yeah. Okay. So finally, we got the shell of Tom. Let us. Sorry. Yeah.
so let us list down something we can okay, so here we are getting a flag 3 so just let us check on the website is there something we are missing like any flag or because if in um, like uh, getting SSH connection if you are getting a flags mix uh, missed so there would be something like we would be missing it inside it if there can be a hint So Okay, so we are in the WordPress panel, like we have access to the post, media, com comments, profile tools, let us see the post which are there. Okay, so let us see the first uh, the cat uh, sorry the flag three okay so it's our bash like anyone have heard about it our bash any clue no one no clue no idea regarding it so it is a restricted bash like uh, as in wordpress you have uh, restrictions here so you are specified to some command uh, commands only you cannot run like let us if it is not opening my cat uh, is it sorry yeah yes but uh, there are a stage ahead of it like to export it you need to set the uh, set the path in the editor let us see if no so i would like to give you a brief introduction about the r bash Okay. So there are multiple ways to, um, as we are, uh, as we do Linux privilege. It's a privilege in the R bash. So we can. Um, there are some editors like uh, Vim, then Add, which does not require, which cannot be restricted. 
which can be open uh, when it uh, when the there's a restricted bash also so there are some comments what is an r bash a uh, restricted uh, shell is a linux shell that restricts some features of bash shell and is very clear from the name so these are the types uh, implemented r bash restri uh, restrictions like cd command you cannot do that path change you cannot importing function there are some ways we can check that if uh, which commands can be executed so see we are not uh, let us try cd um let us go to okay so we are in tom so let us go back to whom it is restricted so let us check for the So as we give it uh, So this is the website which I referred at the time of solving this task. It's uh, really informative about it. Okay, so this is the gathering information about the environment like we are in a restricted bash shell environment so together which uh, uh, as we can run the py, uh, python the then we can check some uh, operators are restricted or not so how does the restricted bash look like as you saw it is in our vm, uh, in VM then it can be ksh also we can uh, it can be printed like restricted then forbidden syntax so let us check um, the editors. Okay, so we can open, we can use the editors like Vim. As it does not, can it cannot be restricted. There's a flag written, poor old Tom is always running after Jerry. Perhaps we should sue for all the stress he causes. So like su is for the sudo command, it can be. So how to get the bash? How can we exit from the restricted bash? Here, we need to set uh, the shell to bin bash and as it is in our bash in command shell. Okay, so let us check, are we... Yes, we have exited from the restricted bash. So we are in a bash command right now. So let us check. 
Siu Cherry. Okay, so we need to uh, export the path. So, yeah. Wait a minute. Okay, so we have exited the bash and here when we sudo jerry, so it is asking for a password. So we have got a password like for jerry, we didn't work in SSH. So let us try here. Okay, so Mingo, so we got the, we are in jerry, so we have privileged our uh, access. So let us go back to home. Okay, so we got a flag 4.txt now. So let us view it. Good to see you that we have made, you have made it so far, but you are not home yet. Yes, we are not the admin. We have reached Jerry. Still need to get the final flag real account. So we got a hint like um, the, the we are on the second last flag so there's only our last flag left like final flag so let us check which all commands we can run here okay so without password we can work on get as we can uh, it is a path here so like anyone has any idea like how we can move uh, ahead with uh, get so how we can work through it means any glue anything pops up in your mind no nothing so let us go first then user slash then slash okay so let us check if kid is running really or not Okay, so we can run get as a root. Okay, so is the only uh, path. So like, what changes we can do? Any? Uh, so let us open the. Get help. So we can run, uh, we can run our export, we can add the export path. 
like uh, as we done earlier to get out of the r bash so see um, so i don't have it but i just note it down okay so we need to add something in the help okay so let us do with the root privileges yeah wait a second yeah so see uh, what we are doing like as we know that get can be run uh, is can be executed by sudo privilege so we are adding something in help let us add the path of the bin bash uh, we got exited from the shell by frog <laughs> so it was the last part of the get as uh, we exported the path of the bin bash in the restricted in as in the v, uh, vm editor so after just uh, exporting that path bin bash into it the final flag uh, pops up so can i just show the final flag snippet as to take a much longer time see it is so this was the last part like 1% left and we got exited so is there quite it was a long session is there any questions like yeah Okay. It would no. It would uh, just go for the two, three. As it would not find, it would just come back. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. This uh, is a word length. Maximum word length. So we can just change it like it can be minimum we can test by our basic password you are looking for it can be 8 to make it strong for it. Anyone else? No doubt. Understood everyone. Like go home and crack the boxes today. Okay. Thank you.